Good morning, guys. If you're watching this, it's probably because you have one of these. This is the Dremel Straight Edge and Circle Guide. I got this one with my Dremel kit, but you can also buy them on their own. And initially, I had no idea how to use it, so I'm just making this short video to share some details and give some tips. So for this attachment, we have a base with an adjustable mount for the Dremel tool. The head adjustment goes from 0 to 20 millimeters, or about 3 quarters of an inch. We have the Straight Edge Guide, and we have the Circle Cutting Guide. By removing the screw, you can swap out the circle or straight edge guide. You'll notice these measurements on the track of the base, the edges being in centimeters and the top being in inches. These can be a little tricky, so I'll go over them really quickly. The left side measurements are centimeters if the circle guide is facing in, and the measurement is from the screw, not from the pin. So for example, if you set the screw at 12 centimeters, the screw itself will be 8 centimeters from the bit, but the pin will be 6 centimeters from the bit so you'll get a circle with a 12 centimeter diameter. The top left is the same, but for inches, so set the screw at the number for the diameter that you want when the pin is facing in. If you flip the pin away from the bit, your max cut diameter shifts from 22 centimeters, or about 9 inches, to 30 centimeters, or about 12 inches. Usually you'd use either the 560 drywall bit, the 561 multipurpose cutting bit, or the 562 tile cutting bit for this attachment, so I'll be using the 561 since I'm cutting wood. Okay, unplug your tool or remove the battery before setup. Remove the easy twist nose cap, loosen the collet, insert your bit so one eighth of an inch of smooth shank is visible, and then tighten the collet with your fingers and then a wrench. Screw on the attachment to the nose, no tool needed. There should be about an eighth of an inch of the bit protruding when at the zero mark for depth. I'm going to set this at half of an inch in depth and make sure the screw is secured on the flat part of the adjuster. I set the hole diameter to 3 inches on the left side of the attachment since the pin is facing inwards. Here I have a thin piece of wood so I'll only need one pass. If you're working with thicker wood or harder material, do several passes while increasing depth each time. I drilled two 8 inch holes, one for the bit to start since the 561 cuts from the sides, so plunging it in isn't very effective, but also because it'll yield a cleaner cut. And then the other hole is for the attachment's pin to sit into. Use an RPM that's appropriate for your tool and material, I'm using 30,000 RPM. Seat the attachment and begin cutting, smooth and steady. This is a fairly clean cut on the outside, however if you plan to be using the center circle, then you'll have a hole in what you cut out. Next for the straight cut guide, I'll be cutting some 3 inch squares to make some epoxy coasters for a future project. So I'll have the straight edge cutter facing in, and I'll put pressure towards the wood so the tool stays on the line of drawing. These are pretty good, but the first square that I cut out was better than the second. I'm assuming that any mistakes you make on the first cut will then compound into the next cuts. Here I'm cutting an inch thick of mahogany, so if you're using a thicker plank, make sure to do two or three passes so that you don't overload the bit. Cutting too much at once will both make it harder to control and you'll run the risk of damaging your tool or your bit. Alright, well, I hope this video is succinct enough. Please subscribe if it helped you, or like this video to support the channel. If I missed anything or you have any tips of your own, please leave a comment, and as always, I'll see you next time.